Hello, Jim Kinney here, CEO and founder of Kinney Group. Hey, thanks for carving out a bit of your day to spend some time with me. You know, over the course of the next 10 or 15 minutes, I'm going to introduce you to this really interesting concept, Atlas, the creator empowerment platform for Splunk. Now, our company's based just north of Indianapolis, Indiana, the motorsports capital of the world. So I grew up here. Uh, went to all sorts of car races, from jalopies to midgets to Silver Crown to NASCAR, and of course the Indy 500. We have an affinity for race cars here. And you know what? We're going to start off with a race car story. As many of you may know, Splunk is an active sponsor of the McLaren Formula One team. Here's what's interesting about that. One could absolutely argue that a Formula One car is the most sophisticated, powerful, nimble platform of its kind in racing, not unlike Splunk. Splunk being the most powerful platform of its kind, ingesting any data in its native format and turning data into insights for security, IT operations, and observability use cases. But it's a platform, right? Just like in racing, does a car drive itself? No way. It is the people. The platform makes it possible. The people make it happen. And who are the people? Well, they're the creators, uh, the drivers, the pit crews. These are the people that create great outcomes on this awesome platform called a Formula One race car. But as you can see in the pictures, these are like old time race guys. Right? Would old time techniques, racing techniques from the 30s, 40s, and 50s be really appropriate for today's Formula One race car? Or take it a step further. You know, the, the, the electronics or the telemetry on an old dashboard, would that be appropriate to get the most out of today's F1 platform? And the same thing, would you be you know, timing your laps uh, using a, a good old fashioned stopwatch? And, and perhaps uh, paper-based scoring sheets? No way, right? Today's creator, today's race car driver, today's Formula One team, they need new techniques, new approaches for today's Formula One race car. And so it goes for Splunk. We believe after having supported hundreds of customers with Splunk, their investments in Splunk over the years, that Traditional techniques associated with engineering services and support just aren't really geared to empowering the creator. So what have we done? Not unlike what a Formula One team does today. You know, we've created powerful telemetry, powerful insights into how creators can get the maximum out of this awesome platform called Splunk. It's about empowering the creators. It's the creators, it's the people that win races. It is the people that will derive awesome insights out of data on a platform as powerful as Splunk. So for customers, there are three primary concepts for the platform. First, this is about driving adoption. You know, Atlas is all about driving adoption, fully empowering the creators. Again, these are your va the company's valued colleagues that really are the people that make this awesome platform called Splunk hum along, right? Uh, the second is this. When we empower creators, right, they produce incredible returns for the business. And one of those returns is this, is there's an opportunity to optimize an organization's investment in Splunk whether that is through cost reduction of operations, reducing time and complexity of sustainment or deployment, or actually just reducing the associated costs of infrastructure, whether on-prem or in the cloud needed to support Splunk. Again, this is a big part of empowering creators. Before creators can make awesome data visualizations or reports or knowledge objects on Splunk, they have to have a platform, that race car, that is finely tuned. 
And so one of the business outcomes of this tuning is optimizing that investment in Splunk. And the third takeaway is this, is use cases. Uh, not unlike a driver optimizing and finding new use cases on various racetracks you know, throughout the, the F1 season. Certainly the low hanging fruit or the, the, the tracks that we're all familiar with are those tracks associated with security, IT operations, observability, all things needed for today's modern application. So the third leg of the stool with Atlas is we empower creators to create new use cases that go above and beyond the traditional use cases that we see commonly with Splunk today. So let's now get after it. Atlas, the creator empowerment platform for Splunk. What makes it up? There's really three primary components. Atlas assessment, the Atlas software stack that is, makes the, the, the bulk of the Atlas offering, and then Atlas expertise on demand, right? Not unlike a race car, right? Before you hit, before a creator, the driver, hits the track, they need to have a clear understanding of what is or is not working with their car. This is why we lead with Atlas Assessment. Atlas Assessment installs easily as a technical add-on. It's available for free on Splunk Base, and within minutes, will provide Splunk admins and engineers with the insights that they need to optimize their implementation of Splunk, whether it's Splunk Enterprise, Splunk Cloud, or a combination of the two. Atlas Software, this is really where the good stuff happens. This is the collection of utilities, applications, helpers, all sorts of different tooling that, that again, enable uh, creators within a Splunk environment to do their thing. And then lastly, this is the pit crew that helps the creators. This is our expertise on demand team, all part of the Atlas offering. So let's start with Atlas assessment. Here's the thing that race car drivers do every time before they take the track. They and their pit crews get a thorough understanding of what's working and what is not in the car. You have to start with that to, before you can tune the car for optimal performance on the track. Atlas Assessment, available for free on Splunk Base. It implements in a customer's environment as a technical add-on. And within minutes can provide the Splunk admin and Splunk engineers with insights into what is going well and what needs to be tuned within their Splunk environment. Whether it's Splunk Enterprise, Splunk Cloud, or a bring your own license approach for Splunk on AWS, Azure, or GCP, or quite frankly, any combination of the three. So the first leg of that three-legged stool of Atlas, Atlas assessment, this is where we start every time. You know, the core of the offering though, arguably is the Atlas software suite. It is a collection of applications, integrations, use cases, vertical applications, all integrated into a common user experience that again works equally well on Splunk Enterprise, Splunk Cloud, or hybrid combination of the two. So let's, let's dig in just a little bit deeper into the Atlas software platform. The Atlas software platform really manifests itself in three primary areas. The first is this, is management of data and the associated ecosystem. Uh, that supports data within Splunk. If we don't get the data right in Splunk, it's going to be tough to get really valuable insights out of the platform. So again, data management and the ecosystem management, collection of utilities, visibility, that give the Splunk admin the precision that they need to tune data that resides in Splunk. The second area is this. Um, Splunk absolutely is a journey. This is something we've discovered over the years, um, especially for new drivers of Splunk, if you will, using that race car metaphor. Um, you can't just take a talented driver or a talented engineer and put them in the cockpit of uh, that race car called Splunk and expect them to be proficient right out of the gate. So what have we done with Atlas? 
we've created an entire portfolio of helpers, assistants, and inspectors that guide the Splunk admin and the Splunk engineer and users of Splunk um, through the journey of what they need to do to do things correctly and in alignment with defined best practices for Splunk. Um, think of it as an on-demand tour guide, uh, taking uh, this a new Splunk race car driver around a new track. Uh, it's no more complex than this. But again, uh, this is where Atlas provides a really interesting empowerment capability for creators. Um, we, we guide them on their creation journey in Splunk every step of the way. And then lastly, the third area, uh, which uh, is kind of a personal favorite of mine, and I, what I believe is, is the high value area of Atlas. This is where we empower adoption through a wide variety of techniques. We make searches available to everyone within a Splunk environment, of course, controlled by rules-based access. Uh, Third-party integrations, uh, vertical market applications, this is the new and growing area of Atlas that again is purpose-built for Splunk to drive adoption and drive business return for those customers that have invested in Splunk. So real quick, that is, is at a high level uh, uh, the Atlas software platform. So it's great, think of it, we have Atlas assessment to now uh, show admins and engineers and users the state of their Splunk environment. We have the Atlas software platform to help them on their journey with Splunk, basically collapsing time to value and ensure you know, success of, of creators, empower them as they work with Splunk. You know, it's, it's the Splunk platform and Atlas make it possible. It's people that make it happen. So again, the third leg of the stool that is really important for the Atlas offering is expertise on demand which is included with every single Atlas subscription. Now, we think people are digging this, right? Um, we consistently have net promoter scores in the 70 to 80 range, measuring how customers are enjoying their experience with Atlas and would they recommend it to other Splunk users. We're really proud of this metric and absolutely believe that the combination of Atlas assessment, Atlas software, and Atlas expertise on demand are a winning formula, uh, hence the NPS score. All right, so that's Atlas in a nutshell, the creator empowerment platform for Splunk. I'm very mindful that many of you might not know me or know of our company, so how in the world are we qualified to do this? Well, as I may have mentioned at the beginning of this session, we've been working with Splunk since early 2013. We've seen a lot. And over the years, we've delivered well over 650 different engineering engagements for Splunk customers, big and small, in commercial, in public sector. You name it, we've seen it. And so what we've done is taken all that know-how, all that experience, and codified it into an offering called Atlas, the creator empowerment platform for Splunk. If you are intrigued about what you've seen today, we would recommend that there are, there are three actionable next steps that you can take to learn more about Atlas and how it can potentially empower creators at your organization. First is this, is a technical deep dive into Atlas. Today was really that 15 to 20 minute introduction, talking about the concepts and, and the value that we bring to the table. Uh, the technical deep dive is going to be very specific to customers' use cases and how they exactly would use Atlas. Uh, this session is led by our Atlas engineers and will provide you with an opportunity to actually see Atlas in action. Uh, after the technical deep dive, great next step is this. Head on over to Splunk Base. Download a copy of Atlas Assessment. It's free. And within minutes, you can get insights into what's good and what could use help in your implementation of Splunk Enterprise or Splunk Cloud? And hey, if after an Atlas assessment, you really are intrigued about what Atlas can do for your business, take it for a test drive via a 30-day Atlas trial. Again, at no cost, it includes the Atlas assessment, the Atlas software platform, 
and access to Atlas expertise on demand. And you can prove for yourself in your environment that Atlas delivers a winning formula. So we look forward to engaging with you. Please reach out to our team, get that Atlas deep dive scheduled. We'll look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks for your time.